Hi guys, it's Kurt from Worsley Club USA. I'm going to go over one of the most requested subjects we've had, and that is how to install a VST in OAX. So what you see here is the VST I happen to pick. Don't endorse it. Not uh, affiliated with them any way. Just happens to be one I downloaded to try out with OAX. We went ahead and plugged in a USB mouse. Just, you see the cursor moving on the screen there. Uh, to make this a little bit easier because we're going to be doing some stuff at the Windows level. And it's just a little easier to touch some of the um, options and stuff using a mouse. So everyone should know this is, you know, the main screen. We're going to go to settings. And we're going to come down here and say exit Sonic. And I think most of you probably have done this. And now we're at the Windows desktop. So I'm going to click on my PC and your screen may or may not look just like mine as far as the Windows desktop goes. You know, I've, I've moved my things around the way I want them. So if yours doesn't look exactly the same, that's fine. Um, I cheated and before we started recording this, I did copy the files uh, into the temp directory on this machine. So that VST, uh, it gets uh, sent to you or downloaded as a zip file. So we're going to right click. We're going to say extract all and we're going to put it in C Worsi plugins and uh, let me create a new folder. So once that uh, has been unzipped, uh, there's two folders there. One's for a Mac, one's for Windows. We want the one for Windows just so you can see what's in there. What's important is these two DLL files, which is what we're going to add to the VST host within OAX. So we know where we put that now. Uh, C drive, Worsi, plugins, and then we created this VPNO folder. And that's the two DLLs that we want to work with. So at this point, we're going to close these two windows down so they're not running in the background. We're going to click on Worsi Sonic which if you don't know um, that'll relaunch OAX just as uh, as though you turned on the organ again so if you do exit OAX and go to Windows you don't have to turn the instrument back on and off you can simply click on that icon and it'll relaunch OAX for you now we're back at OAX in the main menu again so we go to settings and we're going to scroll over to the very last page, which is page three. And there's our VST host. And you notice when it comes up initially, it's blank. And let's just focus on user for right now, which you notice is also blank. So we want to go ahead and, and uh, set up that VST plugin. So we're going to click load and we are going to click import. And it's going to start looking around for, you know, where, where is the file that you want? And so remember, we put it in C, Worsi, here, plugins, VPNO is what we called it. And oops, I went one too deep. And we're going to pick 64-bit, uh, say import, and we can give it a name. So let's make the name a little bit more readable by just saying um, v, VSU uh, or VS upright, that's fine. Click enter, click save. Uh, need one of our German friends to help us <laughs> decode this. Um, best of my knowledge, the one we're working with only has one sound, so we're gonna stick with that. Um, and I, I've tried to uh, translate this using Google and I still have no idea what the heck it's saying. So we're going to click one sound and then I think that's enter. And there's our uh, plugin. Now we need to map it to the outputs um, so you can actually hear it work or play, I should say. So we just, uh, I'm going to hold left mouse down and drag over to line out one and to line out two, so it's going to both outputs, like so. And if I double click on the plugin, you see our virtual piano. And uh, with any luck, 
Oh, I don't have it registered as a sound yet. My mistake, my mistake. Uh, anyway, there it is. You can see it and you can see there's some controls on here. You can edit and let me go back in and, and set that up on the keyboard as a user sound. And then as we play the keyboard, you'll see it here. We could uh, click it with the mouse, but that's not really what we want. So hang on a second. Let's load it as a user sound. So this, this step should be pretty familiar to everybody. We've got upper one selected again. Remember the green box. We'll go to sounds. We're going to go to user sounds. And look, there it is, the VS Upright 64-bit again. We can change the name, but for now, let's just go ahead and load that. And now notice that's set up there. And we are now playing that from the keyboard. Let me, let me go back and show you from a VST plugin uh, screen what that looks like. Let's click settings. Um, let's scroll over to our VST host again. And let's make sure that we've got our VST loaded. And there it is. Okay, we don't want to load it again. Uh, I want to double click on it for you. And so there it is. And the thing I wanted you to see is So you can see, uh, as we were playing the Sonic keyboard, you can see what's happening in that um, VST. Most likely you're never going to have that window open. That's kind of just to demonstrate that you can do that. What we do want to show you though, is if you click up here, notice that there's a mixer EQ setting. And now you can go in and apply EQ to this particular VST, if you would like, and in its own volume control. And then one of the things you're going to want to do is save that as a VST preset. So if you notice under factory, the standard one is, is the one that comes with the organ and it's 100% OAX, just as you would expect. Notice that uh, also for Morrissey, they have a standard two with the pipe organ sounds. And I haven't quite got that one working yet. Uh, we'll come back hopefully in a few days and show you that also. But I had a little trouble with that one. Um, if you go to user presets, you see I've actually already saved it one time. But in here is where now going forward, if I want to change, let's go back to the original organ just for the heck of it and click standard one and click load. Um, you notice it says it's changed the configuration and uh, our VST will disappear because it's no longer loaded as part of that quote um, VST preset. If we open that again and click user preset and load ours, we will see that plug 30 was loaded and there's our VST again. So um, that's pretty simple to set up. Um, quite honestly, I, I picked this one because it didn't mess around with the windows level of the organ pretty much as long as you have those DLL files in a library that you uh, know where it is. Uh, you can map that to OAX and use it. Now, just for the heck of fooling around a little bit more, uh, let's show you again, let's uh, load that particular VST again. And this time we're gonna hit uh, user sounds up over on the type top right of the console. And uh, there it is. Uh, pick that one and he's loaded for us now. Let me uh, turn on selector one. And then another thing, just to show you, because we uh, did a video a few days ago uh, using MIDI sounds, and if we go to user sounds again, uh, R for Roland, remember, is what I had called it, Taxi EP, and hit enter, and turn that on. So now, that's Roland only on an external module via MIDI. the VS, uh, VST plane internally from the Sonic, or both. And for those that don't know, I'm reaching over at the left-hand side here and controlling the volume of each one of those. And then just to go one step further, let's drag a new sound over from the sound pool. And I don't know, let's pick 
think uh, mallet and vibes is fine. And so now on upper three, so that's vibe sounds from OAX. Uh, the taxi EP sound from a MIDI module. And then internal VSU playing uh, also, but using the PC in the organ. As always, thanks for watching.